Hello everyone, my name is Larseth, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4, and episode 18 of our A Manchurian Candidate campaign. And we are once again about to go to war with Uzbek, and we're just waiting on the truce timer to come up, which should be next month. No, sorry, it was August, wasn't it? Yeah, there we go, August. Um, Muscovy, unfortunately made the really bad decision to not like me, um, which presents a few issues. Because, well, yeah, they're ho <laughs> they are hostile to me. So I would love to, for them, for them not to be, that would be nice. Um, <laughs> but unfortunately, I don't think I have much of a choice in the matter. And annoyingly, um, Yarkhan and whatnot are still fighting Muscovy. So rather than go for these provinces, I'm going to go for there. I don't know. What do I go for? Do I go for... I guess I go for there. What do I go for? I don't know. Who am I? What am I doing? I, I want them to end the war so I can send one of my, one of my armies to take... Um, Uzbeki Zungaria. It's a pretty awesome name for a place. Um, these places are all still kicking up a bit of a fuss. Which is not ideal. But we'll just deal with that with autonomy increases. Because they, they, they aren't making too much money anyway. Yarkant can have military access. Minado gained 100 population. It's good. Right. I won against the natives, so it seems like my armies are perfectly perfectly capable of uh, beating multiple times their size. Yeah, well, there you go. Proof right there. Um, which is good. Good, good, good. Let us... Uh, well, our first colony is actually... Well, our first colony in Indonesia is actually about to finish, which is lovely. There we go. What just happened there? So Uzbek actually... What was that? A white piece? Possibly. Sulawesi. Um, there we go. That's lovely. Posso? Gonna have to posso. I can see this being... This This can only be a good thing. All of, all of this colonization down here. It can only be a good thing. Um... Let's have a look, see what manpower places are available that aren't already in the possession of the tribes. You make quite a lot of manpower. But, uh, give you to the tribes. So I'm just getting loads of manpower, but obviously I want to temper that with, um, you know, actually making money. <laughs> uh, we'll put our war goal as Zasak, or however the hell you pronounce that. Um, I will split my army up here and send them to do get these whilst we take out Uzbek's army, like so. Natives of Bernardo lose one Frosty. It's always good. I don't like being attacked. Placate, um... Conquer Taraz. Where the hell is Taraz? Oh, that's there. Ming are probably still guaranteeing them, so that's a pointless thing to ask me to do, because I can't do it. Rival of our rival. Syak's opinion is 100. Um, I could do that, because it gives me Diplo power. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Righty ho. We're going to take their capital in a second, and luckily I stack like their army, so there won't be any random little stacks coming around and attacking me from beyond. Actually, no, that's exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> oh, dear. I've got a feeling they're going to try and escape. Yeah, you are. If I just keep stack wiping these little little stacks, they'll move out. They'll run out of manpower pretty sharpish. 
I feel. Especially if I do that. Lovely. The only annoying thing is I bet they'll probably grab some... Uh... Really? You want more provinces? Fine, you can have... You can have that province. And that province. Actually, I'd... oh, I don't want to give that to you. That province would have made money. Um, what other provinces can I give you? Problem is the pro the giving it to a tribe destroys its like the value of a province. It, like, tanks the earnings in it, so... Not really a great thing to, to do. But unfortunately, it's something you can't really get around. Right, let's bring that army, and that army will go up and do um, West Siberia. Aha, you fell into my trap. Right, so why do these guys keep wanting more manpower? I'm not getting more land, so why do you want more manpower? Um, hmm. It's really annoying. So that's... Give that to the tribes. Does that please you? No, it doesn't. What about that as well? Oh my god. What do you want from me? Okay, you make no next to no money anyway. Rhea lost their royal marriage with me. Hopefully they'll ask me rather than the other around. And they did. Which is nice. It means I'm wanted. I can now invest in new ideas. So there's a new merchant. Where are we going to put this merchant? Merchant man. Um, where have I actually got any influence whatsoever? I mean, I'm going to put it there and do transfer trade power. And that'll do absolutely nothing. I suspect. Right. Somewhere else, just uh, a, another colony just finished. Which is nice. Uh, where are you? There we go. Uh, was it Monado, wasn't it? So we'll send our guy down to Kandari. Oh, dear. What general died? Which general was it? Hmm, give them more local authority. Where is Chara? Let's have a look. Chara. Does Chara make a lot of money? It does make a lot of money. Because my armies are all the way down here, and I don't want to go all the way back there, I'm actually going to lose the stability hit, which sounds really weird, if you think about it. Because, obviously, you know, I don't want to lose stability, but... But, actually, I guess that boils down to I'm sort of lazy. And I also want to uh, finish this uh, war sometime this century. Which would be nice. So now, Muscovy should be fully annexed. Well, fully, not fully annexed, fully occupied, should I say. And I'm going to actually make a point of um, looting. Or at least I was going to make a point of looting until these sods popped up. 
Oh, they got loads of uh, rebels. So and I'm going to bring our guy back from Mink and then get a piece out before they take anything. So I want all of that. Thank you very much. Um, which land is more valuable? It's almost certainly going to be down here. Isn't it? Well, actually, it's all bloody cold and miserable, isn't it? It's all desert or some rubbish. So that all does furs. That does some of those to tea, mostly grain. So I think I'm probably going to want to go up, aren't I? Let's take all of this. Actually, let's not. I'm going to leave those ones out. Um, Because it'll leave them all fragmented and not in very nice, happy places. Um... I'm going, to t I'm going to do that, I think. Because um, basically I want to, you know, keep Muscovy away from these provinces. That's what essentially what I'm trying to do. Um, is it a good idea to go this overextended? Especially with this little man, uh, man uh, admin power? I'll take some money as well. Thanks, Muscovy. Right, so that is all okay. Let's get our troops back. Um, what's this? Core creation cost. I'm actually going to get that. I ignore. I didn't get it last time because I didn't have any cores that needed creating. For one. Oh, wow. <laughs> How nice of you, Uzbek tribes. Ooh, what do I want? Admin power? I think I want admin power. Even though the military, the tradition would be really nice. Um, so the question begs, which area do I go and stop protect from rebels? Probably the one more central to my actual land, my uh, sort of main mainland. Um, let's get that chamber demi cannon. Tribes, tribes, tribes. Hmm. They want demand of provinces. It's the base. That is a lot. So we're going to give them that. Base is a thousand manpower. That's pretty juicy. Hmm. Unfortunately, we need to raise some of these provinces first. So let's raise you. Let's raise you. Let's raise you. Let's raise you. Raise all the provinces. I think. Now we just got to remember the ones. Actually, you know. This is an easy way of finding out which ones I've just taken. Because <laughs> of all of the incredibly high, uh, what's it called? Doodars. Right, I can get rid of this. Actually, I'm going to leave that castle. Um, reason being is if the rebels spawn there, there's a small chance at least they might spawn on the castle. Um, which will mean I won't have to... Uh, uh, which means, sorry, that I have to, I won't have to siege it down, or there's a lesser chance that it'll actually, there we go, a lesser chance that it'll actually take my uh, provinces and give me separatism. Right, that mission's done. Re remove Bouton from the map. Where is Bouton? That, oh, do I now border them? Fairly certain I don't. Let's have a look. Bhutan. Oh, I do. They're just on that teeny tiny little island. Um, I'm okay without doing that at the moment. Conquer Taraz. See, this isn't going to happen. That's owned by Yarkand at the moment. So I'm going to wait and see if I get any new missions, I think. 
Um, I still need, they still want more bloody provinces. These guys, these guys are, are not, they're, they're greedy. Uh, that's not what I'm after. I'm after manpower. Essentially what I want is provinces which make next to no money. Uh, da, 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 da. That's fine. Maintain Diplomat and Ming. I can get new troops. What do I want? Step Musketeers, the same. Step Lancers. Chamber Demicannon. There we go. So the next thing I probably want to do, now that I've got at least a little bit of Horde Unity for a while, um, is to reform my government. Because I can westernize until I reform my government. <clears throat> however, 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 I don't want to have a load of uh, rebels, so I guess I'm going to have to, hmm, yeah, save up a lot of uh, admin power before I do that so I can instantly get all my stability back. I'm losing a lot of money, I'm not sure why. Uh, Sakahil, Sakhalin. Let's have a find them. Sakhalin. Really? You went to the furthest possible place. Alchuka. Where's Alchuka? Alchuka. And you make a semi decent amount of money. Actually, I don't mind getting the autonomy there. Not making a huge amount of difference. Although I am losing a lot of money, which isn't ideal. Again, actually, no, that'll be from my overextension, won't it? So that's irrelevant because I'll be that'll be gone in before the end. <coughs> excuse me, before the end of the episode. Um, what is what are these rebelly rebels looking like? Uzbek separatists. You look like you're the worst ones. Yeah, they're all up there. So I'm gonna move my armies. Up there for a second, just so I'm closer to where they are likely to pop out from. Who's my rival still? Who are my rivals? Pan, Yarkand, and Ayutthaya. So I'm going to um, send an insult to Japan just for that extra five, extra five uh, power protection. I just realized, obviously, earlier I was trying to make buddies with uh, Ayutthaya, but I'm actually their rival, so that's probably not going to happen, I suspect. Hmm, should have thought about that earlier. Those Becker having some rebel issues. Having said that, looks like Muscovy are having one or two problems themselves. Battle of Pozzo. Hey, here we go. Palu is uh, just appeared. Come to life. Um, I don't have any of the colonization missions, do I? How long until... Colonial, that expires next year. So, no, I'll, I'll, my other colony, will, one of them, will come close to finishing by that point, I think. So I want to probably go north, don't I, now? So we'll do that, and then we'll get my... Ta-da! Lovely. Hurrah, hurrah. It's all going well. I'm thinking I pr c could probably go for religious ideas at some point. Although, they'll probably be my last... Well, I'll have to get another idea group, because I've just got an admin idea group, haven't I? Isn't ideal. My second faith. Here. Hmm, dear, dear, dear. Getting a lot of, uh, because Uzbek are, um, Muslim. They're causing me all sorts of beef. See? I left the fort up and they spawned on the fort. Lovely. Yeah, because Uzbek are Muslim, they're causing me all sorts of issues with the fact that the more I conquer from them, the much my horde, 
not my horde unity, my religious unity plummets. Which is obviously not a great thing. So I need more horde unity actually, which is really annoying. So I can't reform my government till I have at least 60. Hmm. That's frustrating. I'll need to go into another war and sit there and loot, basically, is what I'm thinking. Right, so I can... Annoyingly, all these places I'm turning into states are costing me more money than I'm making. Like, significantly so, in most cases. Bloody sods. Uh, what have I got now? Okay, that's Naval Force Limit Modifier. Good, good, good. That's all done. They want more land. More. They want more. Uh, let's look for places with manpower. Okay, this one makes no money, even without being an estate, belonging to an estate. That makes lots of money, so I'm not getting rid of that. They make next to no money, but that's probably a reason, because they are owned by... This just ain't good. It's not good. Tribes, 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 there you go. Which one was it? I think it was this one. Yeah, it makes loads of money. So I need to probably upgrade this. Um, yeah, I need to upgrade the Diplo power. Who popped out? Will I get there in time? No. That's not ideal now, is it? Who's going to pop out next? Probably... Kazaki Separatist or Manchurian Tribes? Wait, 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 wait. Ostiaki. Why are the Manchurian Tribes, like, popping up? They shouldn't be Manchurian Tribes. They're not Manchurian. I'm Manchurian. I'm Manchu, was, Manchu was historically all the way over here, not over there. As far as I'm aware, unless my minimal history experience is biting me in the ass here. Hmm. Weird. God, I was really looking forward to um, forming the government. Uh, mercantilism for di 25 Diplo power. I'll do that. Um, do I want to focus on Diplo? I wonder. No, no, I'm still doing... Don't want to focus on uh, admin. And stuff like this certainly helps. So, <laughs> that's good. Right. I think I will call the episode here. Um, next episode... Wow, I guess we got to go to war again. Annoying... Wow, I'll probably be waiting for Uzbek. 27, so we got quite... Wow, we got... What's that? Nine years? A truce. Um, we'll go to war with them and try and get... As as long as we get over 60 Horde Unity, I'll be happy. Um, but it might be that they don't exist by that point. Uh, in which case, we'll have to start looking to other options for expansion. And it's not looking terribly good. Because our only other options are Musc Muscovy and whoever takes this gap here. Which will probably be Muscovy. Because then I can't, I literally cannot expand anywhere else. Unless I go after Japan. That might be an option. Uh, Korea would join me against Japan. But it's a case of how, you know, what's... You know, I, I would need to cross, make a crossing. See, this is the problem the Mongols had. The DC causes all sorts of issues. Right. Well, I will end the episode here. 
Thank you very much for watching, and I will speak to you in the next one. Take care.